good day. I've been so excited to finally get to this point in the day where we can unwind together, focus on something fun. I'm here to host our live crystal session tonight. So in this session, we are going to be talking about crystals or gemstones or minerals, whatever you like to call them. Um, especially lately, we're seeing all sorts of crystals and gemstones popping up all over the place. And I've heard lots of women here in the Goddess Network say that they love crystals or they even have some of their own crystals at home, but they don't really know what the benefit or the meaning behind um, having these beautiful objects really is. So after a lot of special requests from you guys, I decided what better time than now while we have more downtime at home to explore this really, really fun topic. So thank you so much for being here. Um, I see you guys coming in, so just say hello. Let me know if you can hear me okay. I'm so excited we can spend some time together tonight. So as you're getting um, settled in for this session, you can um, grab a cocktail or pour a nice uh, cup of tea, just get kind of comfy. And if you're really into learning new things, you could even get a little notebook and pen and take some notes. Um, really this uh, next hour or a little less is just for us to escape together and learn some new things that are going to benefit each of our lives, maybe in different ways, but we will all find so much value and benefit from this newfound knowledge. All right, I see more people coming in. Oh, fellow goddess Stephanie Matos is here, yay. All right, so most of us are unwinding from a long day, I'm sure. Let's take a minute and just stretch wherever you are. Just reach your hands up overhead. Take a big breath in. Big inhale. Let out a nice exhale. And let's do that one or two more times. Let's just take the biggest breath you've taken all day. Use an inhale. Just let it fill up your whole body and allow an exhale to just carry any stress, any concern, anything about past or future, just let it dissolve into the air with your exhale breath and start to bring yourself into this present moment. You might be able to see that there's lots of other women tuning in from all different parts of the United States and even from overseas joining us. So just um, kind of acknowledging how cool it is that we've got um, women, like-minded women that are, are looking for a little bit of cheer in their day and some special time together. Just so wonderful that we all come here with good intentions. So welcome to the Goddess Network group. All right, so in this crystal session, we are going to learn a little bit about the science behind crystals, what they are, where they come from. We're gonna talk about a few of the most common crystals that you've probably seen somewhere in your life already. We're gonna talk about how crystals benefit you. And then we'll leave some time for a few little um, question and answers. Although I will stay after and answer question and answers in the comments as well. Um, because we want to save time for the very end, which is going to be the most fun, which is our sip and shop. And by sip and shop, I just mean you can grab your cocktail and I'm going to be offering some of the crystals from our workshop demonstration for you guys to claim ownership of and have me send to you um, if there's one that speaks to your soul um, or tugs at your heart. Um, we'll do a fun little sip and shop, which I'll explain at the end. So stick around if you can. All right, so how I personally got into crystals. Ever since I was a little girl, I really enjoyed being outside and being around nature. So I had like rock collections as a little girl. And I think at different times throughout my life, I was drawn to sparkly things, maybe had some decorating the house or whatever it may be. Um, when I became a certified yoga instructor, um, of course, crystals are a great way to enhance your yoga practice. So I started getting crystals to kind of keep in my yoga space, um, started reading up on them a little bit, but wasn't super knowledgeable. 
about why we have different ones and things like that. So uh, a couple of years ago, my husband got into a very bad injury. He got into an accident and he was bedridden at home for eight months. So we were in our own quarantine at that time. <laughs> I was stuck at home a lot. And I decided that I wanted to make use of that time when I was at home to find something that would enhance my certifications that I already have and that would bring benefit to my students, my friends, my clients. Um, so I was already um, teaching yoga full time. I already have like the top certification that you can have. So um, crystals was something that came to me when I learned that you can um, get certified in crystals. So I spent a good couple of months really diving into the certification class and reading up on crystals and the knowledge that I found was just so amazing. And, um, you know, that's how I got into it. And then I'm just so happy that there's others here in this group that that want to learn more. So I hope that I can pass that gift on to you without you having to do some big certification class. So, so here we go. All right. So crystals, first of all, I want to say that we're not claiming that they're going to heal you in any way. We're not making any medical claims, of course. Um, but I do, uh, with all my heart, powerfully believe that crystals can help to bring benefit to whatever our current self-care routine is, just to enhance whatever it is that you're already doing in your life. All right, so it's kind of like Reiki or acupuncture or massage. It's just something that will enhance uh, the energy flow in your body and make whatever you're already doing uh, work even better. So that's how I like to look at it is uh, like an energy or holistic work. All right. Crystals have been used since before 3100 BC. They've been used as a tool to remove blocks of energy flow in the body. We have record of this and I could literally go into a crystal video um, once a week at this time a night for a couple of months and still not cover all that there is we will definitely if you guys are into this go a little bit deeper into the history and the science um, but we're just going into tidbits here um, so since 3100 bc okay we can use crystals in our day to day to align ourselves um, not just physically removing blockages that we have in our body, but mentally. So helping to align ourselves with our unique creativity, our passions, our goals, our desires. By connecting stones with the right chakra, we can literally create an energy shift in our body. Okay, and we'll, we'll touch on that again in a second. By the end of just one meditation or one session with a crystal, you're guaranteed to feel lighter, more open to receive. Okay, so good stuff. And I just have a bunch of notes, so that's why I'm reading. I, I spent the past couple of days really writing down what I wanted to share specifically with the women in this group um, about crystals, so that's why I'm reading a little bit. All right, so... When you, when you think about crystals, you hear the word crystals, you hear gemstones, you hear all different types of names. And I guess you could say that they're all in the same category, but the key thing to remember is that almost all crystals are minerals, but not all minerals are crystals. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is a mineral will be something like this. This is a rock, excuse my um, quarantine nails. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one, but don't look at the quarantine nails, okay? Um, this is a rock from the Dead Sea in Jordan that I just kind of took and put in my pocket. This is a mineral, right? It comes from the earth, it's a natural stone, it's kind of round, rounded, um, it's got a heavy, thick feel to it, and it's not see-through. Okay, and here is an example of a crystal. This crystal has more defined shape. Now this one has been carved, but even if you look inside of it, it has like sharp edges on the inside. We call those phantoms. So it's got sharp edges and very distinct shape. What, different, what differentiates the two is a crystal is a solid material whose atoms, molecules, and ions 
are arranged in a highly ordered geometric structure. And I drew a picture for you guys. So imagine the atoms, molecules, and ions underneath a microscope. When I look at this crystal underneath the microscope, all of those little ions molecules are going to line up in a really highly organized geometric shape. Okay, making almost like a perfect pattern. When you look at a mineral under that same microscope, the ions, molecules, all the tidbits are going to look more like this. So that's why there's not the sharp crystallized edges. There's still, there's no, there's no like uniform pattern. So that's the difference, crystals and minerals. Okay. So when these form in nature, the earth has to be super heated for a crystal to form. So when these crystals are forming, it's because it's in a hotter environment than the mineral. Okay, so these form in nature when the earth is superheated. So for instance, amethyst is one of the most popular crystals that we see. I'm sure we've all seen an amethyst at some, some point in our lives. And it is formed from lava getting extremely, extremely hot and then cooling off. I'll show you an amethyst. So this is our amethyst right here. It's beautiful. This is a crystal. You see all the sharp edges. If we looked under the microscope, it would have more of this shape creating the stone. Hi guys, I see you joining. I'm happy you're here. Happy Wednesday. All right, so that's our amethyst. And I wrote a little note about amethyst, okay? So amethyst gets it, how amethyst gets this beautiful purple color. We already know that it gets its sharp, sparkly, um, edgy shape by the formation of the molecules and ions, okay? It gets its color when the lava, um, when the crystal is forming inside the rock, tiny amounts of iron are pulled into the crystal. Once the crystal is formed, radioactivity of surrounding rock emits gamma rays, and these rays cause iron to turn different shades of purple. So it's all in that heating process, which causes the color. So this is from heated lava turning cool. Pretty interesting, right? All right, and then when you find crystals in the store, you will find them in all different shapes. So this would be like a cluster, a crystal cluster, okay? This would be like a carved point. So there are natural points, and I don't have a natural point here today. I have ordered some because I'm hoping we do another one of these sessions and I can share with you guys a natural point. Um, it comes in this shape from nature, and those are the most highly organized molecules and atoms that are out there. That's why those are more pricey and they're the most powerful energetically, which we'll get to in a minute. This one is a quartz that has been carved into this shape, okay? And then you'll also see uh, geodes, which kind of look like a little miniature cave that have these crystals inside. Um, you'll see just kind of rounded stones like this that can be considered crystals. Here is a rose quartz. So this rose quartz is in its natural, uh, natural state. Rose quartz is considered a mineral, so it doesn't have this perfectly organized um, set of molecules and ions, otherwise it would look like this. But it does have a bit more organization um, in its makeup. So this is considered kind of an in-betweener, right? So um, that's why rose quartz gets really beautiful, sparkly, edgy, edgy pieces. I don't know if you can see it with my lights, but these really sparkly little bits in there are crystallized. But it's also a mineral because the formation makes it more like a rock. So hopefully that helps you guys differentiate um, between the two. 
So how a crystal forms affects its healing properties and how much of the earth's energy is carried inside of it. All right, so everything in the world is made of energy and is vibrating. We don't notice it, but on a very, very low level, and I know um, Stephanie, fellow goddess Stephanie, talks about this in her coaching sessions in our group a lot, is the energy, energy of people around you, energy of the things that come around you. Um, everything is vibrating, all right? And so when these rocks create these formations, they are vibrating. Now these that are formed in this way are vibrating at a higher frequency, really powerful, um, really high energy. These are a lower, calmer energy. Okay, I could go into this way more in depth, but I'm just kind of breaking down the, the difference between the two. So considering how different rocks vibrate according to their formation, all right? Then consider that the human body is about 70% water, right? So we are water and we take on vibrations a lot. We can sense other people's energies. We can sense um, the energy in a room when we walk into it. Our bodies are made of water and we pick up vibrations. So when we have a blockage somewhere in our body, something that feels tight, locked up, it could be energetic, it could be physical, like a backache. We will take a crystal that is vibrating and we will place it on that part of the body to use the vibration of this crystal to release stagnant or tight or locked up energy in the body because our body is made out of water. Okay, so this crystal, for instance, I'm using this one as a perfect example, is perfectly, has purposely been carved um, so that you can point that vibration towards, let's say, my elbows causing me problems, point that crystal in the direction of where the problem is, leave it there for a long time, and meditate, breathe, um, you know, do whatever it is that allows you to relax for enough time for the vibration to move throughout the body. Okay, so pretty cool. Uh, Stephanie, I figured you would like this. <laughs> now, when you want more of a calming in the body, maybe I don't want to, um, maybe I don't want to wake up that back pain, or maybe I don't want to open up a blockage so much. Maybe I'm feeling really open and anxious, and I want more of a grounding, slower energy in my body. Then I can get something that has more of a rumble tumble, uh, calming vibration, such as a mineral or a rounded stone, and hold that in my hand or hold a few in my hand or place them somewhere in my body while I rest and meditate um, or lay outside or whatever it is um, to change the vibration in your body. Okay, so anytime viruses, pathogens, other people's energies, negative energies from the thoughts that we create, anytime there's a disruption in the balance or the flow of energy in your body, on top of doing yoga, changing your diet, doing all the other things that you do to bring balance back into your body, crystals can just be another way to you know, bring a little bit more of a shift for you. All right, and again, this could be a whole nother workshop in itself, but if you're not familiar with chakras, I just wanna show you a quick chart so that you kind of understand what energy in the body I'm talking about. So in yoga, every yoga pose we do is designed to open up one certain part of the body. Anytime there, there seems to be a blockage, we wanna use a yoga pose to open up where we're stuck to create more space for energy flow. Then your immune system flows better, uh, your nervous system flows better, you have less anxiety. There's a science behind our yoga postures. And they are to open up these seven energy centers in the body. 
So you have your root chakra, which is your base right here. This is your sense of stability and it governs all of the body parts in your lower body, anything that gives you stability and structure. Then you have the sacral chakra, which is just below the navel or the belly button. And that governs that region of the body health wise and energetic wise. It governs your relationships, how you flow with other people, how you flow with situations in your life. It's also a center for creativity and birthing new projects, new ideas. The solar plexus is the space in your body that governs that, that mid range. It works with your digestion, all of that. Uh, your mid back. Um, it also energetically deals with your personal power, following your path. Um, and we can go into this forever, but 101, we're trying to stick with 101 here. <laughs> um, moving up to our green chakra, which is our heart chakra. It governs the heart, the chest, the breast, the upper back. And energetically, this space deals with self love, self acceptance, confidence. When you're confident, you walk with your heart chakra open. When you're depressed or down on yourself, your heart chakra is closed. Okay? Throat chakra is next. This deals with anything in the throat region, your teeth, your mouth, your jaw, your neck. This deals with how we communicate with others, how we are able to speak our truth, um, being able to be true to who we are. Okay, then the third eye chakra governs the eyes, um, anything in this range, and it does deal with um, sleep, uh, headaches, dreaming, insomnia, all that type of stuff. And you've, also, you've probably often heard about the third eye, the third eye chakra, because this energy is what helps us to make decisions, to see things clearly, to go on the right path. And then the crown chakra, the last one, is associated with the crown of the head or even the energy above the head. Um, they say that once all of your chakras are opened up properly, that you feel connected to the world, you feel connected to the spiritual world, and that all the energy, the aura around you is clear and good. And so our goal is to open up and, and get all the way to the top where we are from head to toe cleared. And they say that the crown chakra is more of a spiritual one. So being connected to spirituality um, or the universe, whatever that means to you. So it's important just to go through that really quick because uh, scientists have broken down the vibration that we have in each of these chakras is different. The frequency to which they all vibrate, shall we say, go at a different tone. And scientists have been able to analyze all of the thousands of crystals in the world and their vibration. And they have been able to figure out which crystals vibrate along with the chakras in the human body. So we know that certain crystals are better for certain parts of the body. Pretty cool, right? All right. So that's pretty, I don't want to um, kill us with too much science right now. So I think that's a pretty good breakdown of why crystals are important, a little bit about why they are, well, why we use them. And if you have more questions about that portion and the science of it, or if you're interested in me doing another workshop about any of those points, um, just let me know in the comments now or, or later on um, after the video. And I would love to do that because this stuff is just so amazing and just incredible. So, um, one example of this is I was going to the dentist for a certain tooth that was giving me problems. And, um, I had a, and it was like, I just had bad energy with this dentist. Like I didn't trust them. I didn't like the people that worked there. It was just always a bad experience every time I went. 
And so I had started sleeping with this one crystal that was meant for throat chakra. I was sleeping with it under my pillow for like a week. And then I finally brought it to the dentist office, like in my hand, but kind of holding it in my pocket. And I held it there the whole time. And that visit, I actually ended up getting, um, you know, better communication with the dentist. I had like a great visit. Everything worked out well. And was it coincidence because I had the crystal? Maybe. But I think that even if you only believe in a little portion of this and the science of it, um, this is about our intentions, right? And shifting our mindset, shifting our energy whenever we go into um, situations in our life, right? So going in with a different mindset, a different attitude. So even if these um, crystals are more to set intention or mindset for yourself, that's just as powerful. So however you look at it, um, they're a great way to just bring more intention into your life. All right. So um, I have 10 crystals that I want to go through tonight. Um, all of them were chosen specifically to share with other goddesses. Um, these are not crystals of my own. These are ones that I've been gathering over the past couple of months because I've had the intention of doing this and that um, that will be for sale tonight if you want one of them. Um, if you don't want to buy any crystals, please stay anyway. This is just going to be really fun and informative. I'm going to teach about each of the 10 crystals. Before I start going into that, does anybody have any um, questions that I might be able to answer or any um, comments? And I'll take a little sip of champagne while I wait to see if you do. Hopefully I explained this pretty well, um, especially the chakras. Um, really great thing to know just for your personal life. Knowing, you know, breaking your body into different sections is really great because it helps you analyze ways to treat almost anything physically, mentally, spiritually. Okay, I must have explained it good because no questions so far. Okay. So, okay, Elaine said she would like Crystals 102. So I, I would love to do it. I think we will. So that's awesome. Okay, so we're going to start with... We're going to start with Selenite. Thank you. I'm glad it's easy to understand. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> it's a lot of information. Thanks, Tara. All right, so we're going to start with a crystal that I believe if you have, if you're new to crystals or it's gonna be your first one to get, um, or you don't already have one of these, but you have a bunch of other crystals, this is one that everybody needs in their collection. And I'll explain why in a moment. And that is selenite. So this selenite has been carved into a wand Usually it comes in these huge slabs, like huge. You might have even been to a yoga studio or a store or something where you've seen a huge slab where it almost looks like um, like a layer cake or icicles um, sitting around and it's very flaky. Comes off like little splinters, all right? And that's not very convenient to have it all splintery. So to get selenite where it's nice and polished and smooth, is awesome, so I hope you can see it. There are always gonna be little imperfections because it is like a splintery um, crystal. Okay, and selenite is native to Morocco. This is from Morocco, and as you guys know, I've been to Morocco and I'm um, planning on hosting a group trip to Morocco soon, so I really love that that's the part of the world where this comes from. Selenite, its vibration mainly goes with crown chakra. So it's very clearing for the body. And I'm just going, I wrote down some of my favorite parts of selenite so you guys kind of know. So the name selenite comes from the Greek goddess of the moon, Selene. And they say that when you charge this crystal, it should be charged under the moon instead of the sun. So charging crystals, you can either put it in the sunlight or outside overnight when there is like a full moon or a strong moonlight, and that helps clear the vibration of the crystals. So selenite should be charged under a moon. This helps with mental clarity. 
It removes energy blocks in any of the chakras. It removes feelings of negativity. It improves your intuition and it brings peace and serenity. Okay, and the reason why I say everybody should have selenite is that this crystal is very clearing and cleansing. So not only for your physical body, this one's made into a wand because you can literally massage your body with it. Um, some people do like crystal um, clearing over their body. They'll just kind of do like a wave over the body, like a Reiki type of thing if you're into that. Um, if you're not into like the Reiki energy stuff, you could sleep with this under your pillow or in the palm of your hand. Um, and, and the final thing why you should have this in your collection is that selenite clears the energy of all the other crystals because it's like the most powerful vibrating cleansing one. This one along with clear quartz. So if you were to have you know, this stone, maybe I've been carrying it around a lot in my hand when I'm having a bad day for like a few weeks, or maybe it's gotten dirty, or I just feel like there's bad vibration around this stone, I would put these together and it would help to um, reset and cleanse this. If you wanna get really deep into that stuff, this is a, a cleansing crystal. Okay, so, I ha so the way that our little sip and shop is gonna run is I'm gonna give a breakdown of the crystals like I just did. And then when I tell you the name of it and the price of it, you can just comment selenite, I want that one, selenite sold. So just put selenite sold, I think that's the fastest thing to type. Selenite sold, and then I will DM you after this video is over um, and send you information on how I'm gonna collect your home address to send this to you. There's gonna be $4 shipping on top of the price of each crystal. Doesn't matter as long as you're in the United States, it's the price of the crystal and then it's gonna be a $4 shipping no matter where you are in the US. And so when I DM you with all of that info, I'm also gonna ask you what one of your main goals or one of your main intentions in life is right now. And I'm going to take your crystal out underneath the sun or the moon. I'm going to sage it with some sage and I'm gonna say a blessing with your intention over the stone before I send it to you. So that's kind of how this is gonna work. Um, I really, really want this to be a way that we get together and really put our minds together to make our dreams, goals, desires work. So I have two of these selenite wands and they're $20. I have one here and one here. So if you want one, you can just say selenite sold and I will set it aside for you. And if more than one person puts it, um, the way that it'll work is if two people say it at the same time, I'll give it to the first person. If they don't pay within 24 hours, I'll give it to the second person. Okay, so selenite wands, I have two available. So Elaine and Raquel, there you go, beautiful. Okay, and then I don't need to go in the description of this next one because I have two more pieces of selenite. Um, same description that I just shared. Um, you know, it's, it's a powerful one, but we have selenite palm stones now. So I have selenite palm stone and another one and these would be the exact same thing these are from morocco as well but these would be more to like hold in the palm of your hand when you're sleeping meditating if you feel anxious and <laughs> beautiful so you guys can see i have two of these so these are called selenite palm stones and they are 15 dollars Okay, so selenite sold of the world. <laughs> I'm keeping track of you guys. Don't worry, I'm gonna go in order. So if you want it, just say selenite palm stone sold. So when I go back through the comments when we're done, I know exactly what you want. Selenite palm stone, and I can get more wands. I think everybody should have a wand, so I'll get some more of those if you guys need them. Okay, so we've gone through four. We've got six more um, crystals. All right, 
So we talked about amethyst earlier. That was the purple stone, and that was the one that I kind of use as an example as, as one of the most um, common stones. So I have um, a really, 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 I'm gonna like start off with the big daddy because this amethyst is just gorgeous. So I have a polished amethyst and remember don't say that you want it until I say the price just so that everybody's kind of clear. Let me do the description first and then once I say the price you guys can claim these if you want. So this is a polished amethyst. So by polished it means that you can see all the crystallization here but then the edges are polished off. Look at all that natural rock. You can see like literally where in the earth it was from. And so this is from Brazil and this would be lava from volcanic, from cooled volcanoes. So this is like pretty badass, you guys. And what I love about this one is that it stands on its own. So this would be really beautiful on your desk or next to your bed. Um, it stands on its own. So that's the really cool thing about the polishing. And then the size of it. I mean, this is like super heavy and it fits entirely in the hand. So amethyst is for the crown chakra. It's good for promoting healthy sleep. It's very calming. It's anti-anxiety. Um, anything with crown chakra is our amethyst. It's a very powerful stone. So when we talked about the molecules lined up, this is a high vibrational stone. All right, so if you want this one, it is the polished amethyst and it's $65. It's from Brazil, $65 polished amethyst. And it's a really like bright purple. And this is a natural purple amethyst. It's not dyed. There are some dyed stones that are like factory dyed. This is a nice natural one. Okay, and then same description, so I don't have to go through the description again. I have another amethyst, but this is an amethyst cluster. So exact same thing, this one is from Brazil as well, but it's smaller, so it fits in your hand. You could probably bring this to a yoga class. You could also keep this next to your bed. It's a bit smaller. It's still like got a really nice weight to it, but this one, I hope, this light works okay for you guys. This is super sparkly. All right, it almost reminds me of like a chunk of coconut, <laughs> nice and chunky. So this is the amethyst cluster and this one is $16. So you have amethyst cluster, $16. And this is for anti-anxiety, better sleeping, sense of calm. So then next I have some stones that we obviously can't sell this huge rose quartz, but I really wanted to include rose quartz today because it is one of the most common stones. I think it's really a great one for goddesses because of the energy and the benefits of rose quartz. So I got some rose quartz pieces that might be more practical in our daily life. I have a little set of rose quartz that it's all natural, rose quartz that has been polished into three little hearts. I don't know if you can see it here. I saw your Raquel for the ameth amethyst cluster, so awesome. These little um, rose quartz have been polished into hearts and they're super cute. Let me see, these are from India which makes them even more special. That's why I chose them before. I think these would be a really sweet gift. And honestly, <laughs> I have some, I have some um, stones like this that I put in my bra, like when I'm out and about. <laughs> I don't think I'm the only girl that does this. I'll put some um, polished little stones like this in my bra or in my uh, pants pocket or in the little pocket in my yoga pants. These are just a really cute way to carry them around and it comes in a set of three. So rose quartz is all about the heart chakra. So anything that deals with your heart, um, anything that deals with the breast, the chest, the upper back, 
<laughs> I figured I wasn't the only one that puts crystals in my bra. I know I've seen other people say that they do that. <laughs> um, love, compassion, forgiveness, self-esteem, self-acceptance. And even though it's a mineral, it's a high vibrational mineral. Okay, and really, like I said before, it's whatever, when you see these stones, whatever it speaks to you. So yeah, that's why I love these small ones. So I have this little set of three and it's $10 for this little set. And again, I'll take them out and um, put a blessing over them for you and charge them either in the sun or the moon. So $10 and that's the little um, rose quartz hearts. And then same thing, um, I have a set of bracelets that are pure rose quartz. Same intention as I just spoke about. You can kind of take these with you with that heart chakra vibration. And then this also has hematite put onto it. So you have the rose quartz, which is for your heart chakra. And then you have hematite around it. Now hematite is for your root chakra. So the root chakra right here, the lower body, everything that gives you grounding, stability, and support, whether it be um, financially, whether it be physically, whatever that means to you. Um, hematite is grounding, balancing, it absorbs toxic emotions, it clears the root chakra if there's blockage there, it gives confidence and strength, and is worn for protection. So this has protection and it has heart chakra. So this little set of, um, you can just call it rose quartz bracelets. It's $15 for both of them, which I think is really, really great. These are natural and this is the magnetic hematite. So super protective. Okay. And if you're watching this later and it hasn't been claimed, you can, you can come back and write it. Those are the rose quartz bracelets, a set of two and they're $15. Any questions? We've got four more. All right, I'm gonna take a sip before I move to my next row. Got you, Elaine. Okay, got you, Tara. I, I'll go in order and then I'll update you guys when we're done. <clears throat> All right, so speaking of protection, um, the hematite, we were talking about how these darker stones for root chakra give protection. I have another protective stone, and I specifically just got this one um, when all of this global stuff was going on. I, <laughs> thanks, Stephanie. <laughs> um, I um, had this, just like this intuition when all of this crazy global stuff was going on, um, to get some protective stones. Um, but I didn't feel right, like just buying a bunch of stones for myself and stocking them up at the house. I wanted to like pass this knowledge and this energy on to other people in the world. And for some reason, like I kept getting drawn to black tourmaline. All right. And then I finally found a piece that was like original, um, it was, it, it, I don't know, it just spoke to me. So I chose this, this is black tourmaline. And I don't know if my lighting again will be doing the justice that it deserves. But if you can see, this is like really metallic, blingy, sparkly. And this is kind of like the selenite that I was talking about earlier, how it's like splintery and chunky. It usually comes in like big slabs, big layers. Okay, so it is a little bit splintery, but I hope you can get a good look at it. This is black tourmaline. It's from Brazil. And this opens up the root chakra or balances out the root chakra. So again, where's my little chart? Anything in the lower region of the body, the feet, the legs, the low back, anything that gives us stability finances, support of family, um, anything that makes you feel stable and grounded in your life, if it's off balance, um, this can help to bring balance back. 
So this is an energy purifier. So like I just said, it clears blockage. It's known as the Xanax of crystals. So there's some people that have been in the crystal world for a long time. And, and um, in these like in these chat rooms and things, they tell us that this is always called the Xanax of crystals, which I thought was pretty cool because it's very calming and grounding. It gives spiritual protection. It needs to be cleansed because if you're into that energy cleansing, it takes on energy very easily. So if it's absorbing negative energy away from you, you need to cleanse it with something very high vibrational and opening like selenite. Okay, and then maybe you've seen black tourmaline plates before. This tourmaline can neutralize the ions from cell phones and electronics. So when there's bad um, energy coming off of electronics, you can keep this next to your bed or next to your um, computer, um, anything like that, anywhere where you feel like you need to dispel negative energy away from you. All right, so this is a beautiful black tourmaline piece and if you want it it's $24 you'll just say black tourmaline don't worry if you don't spell it right <laughs> black tourmaline and it's $24 I got you Marsha this is so blingy like when you see it in person it, it's so beautiful it almost looks like that charcoal charcoal color it's awesome all right, and we've got three more to go, so I'm glad you guys are sticking with me. Welcome. If you're just tuning in, we're doing, I just gave a little uh, workshop on the science behind crystals and why crystals are a beautiful enhancement to all of our lives, um, what they do energetically for us. And so we've got like three crystals left that I'm offering for people to purchase, to take ownership of. I'm going to be blessing each of the crystals before I send them to you um, so that I can help send good intentions into your life. We're here to support each other. And this is just a really, really sweet way to share each other's passions and goals. All right, so... The black tourmaline and this next one are ones that I just had on my heart. They're not, neither one of them are a crystal that I've owned before, but it was something was just telling me that I need to buy this. And this stone actually, um, my husband has been trying to take it. <laughs> he wants it really bad. He's saying like, oh my gosh, I see you get all these crystals all the time. This is the most badass one you've ever had. And, um, I told him, no, this is meant for a goddess somewhere out in the world, and I will get him his own soon, but um, that just kind of explains how badass this, this next uh, crystal is. So this next crystal is called Peacock Ore, and I really hope that my light works for this one. This is natural. This is not painted, you guys. This is like natural gold, purple, bright blue and silver, almost looks like Mardi Gras, <laughs> now that I think about it. But it's supposed to mimic uh, peacock feathers. This is called peacock ore, okay? It is, I, I can't even explain how blingy, just knowing that nature made this is what's awesome. If you're a yogi and um, you do forearm stand or peacock pose, I love that this is, peacock or and it just reminds me of peacock pose it's one of my favorite yoga postures so I think maybe that's why I fell in love with it oh Marsha you have you got one of these in Peru that's awesome so um this particular peacock or is from Mexico okay I especially ordered it it's oh look at that purple there oh my gosh all right it has copper it's known as a mineral. Now you guys are experts, so you can tell the difference in the shape. This is more of a mineral. So it's like a calming, um, more grounding uh, energy or vibration, I guess you could say. But this stone is said to bring happiness and joy. It's said to turn your thoughts into a positive direction, and it gives you the ability to uplift others because you've shifted your own perspective. It encourages acceptance and understanding. 
Peacock ore over the years has been known to be given as a gift to encourage a friend or a loved one. And it is associated with all of the chakras, which is pretty cool. Um, instead of the vibration matching up one specific chakra or one um, more than the other, it's said to bring balance and kind of ground um, all of the chakras. So I thought that was really cool. So this is the peacock or from Mexico. And if you want to claim it, you can say sold. It's peacock or and it's $26. So $26, our peacock ore, our bling bling, so gorgeous. I just think of like confidence and happiness, all the things that the peacock represents. There's a huge thing in yoga about the symbolism of the peacock. So I could like literally do a whole session just on that. <laughs> all right, two more to go. Let's take a sip and go into our next two stones. Hi, Lori Hall. Oh, I think you're gonna dig all this information. This is like right up your alley. Okay, I see. Okay, Ashley, I see you. Okay, now this crystal, they all have a little story behind them. This next one, when I got into, uh, I talked about at the beginning of this session, <laughs> Raquel, yes, Nelson knows best. <laughs> Carlos. Uh, when, when I got into crystals um, a couple of years ago, I found this crystal, which I'm going to show in a second, and I was in love with it because I thought it looked really cool, but I knew it wasn't for me. Like, I knew that one day I just wanted to give it as a gift. I just thought it was so beautiful, and it had a really good energy around it. Um... I just loved, I just loved everything about the meaning, but I knew that one day I was going to, it was going to be offered to somebody else. So it has been with me in my office, um, with, with a lot of like intention for somebody and I don't know who, but <laughs> I want to share it. So this is, um, pink agate. And similar to the amethyst that I had earlier, it's polished, so it stands. So you can stand this next to your computer or next to your nightstand or wherever you may want to keep it. It has a nice flat bottom, so it stands. And then if you can see inside all the crystallization, this is, again, I need even more lighting. This is super blingy inside. It's beautiful, super, super blingy. That's the first thing that I loved about it. And then it has all these layers. Now you can see these layers are fuchsia. So this has been dyed. This has been dyed with a, a fuchsia dye, but it does not affect the vibration of the stone. There are, um, there are a few different types of agate around the world. This, like this layered stone called agate can be found in almost like all regions of the world that have minerals and crystals. You can find these everywhere. This is a brown one that has been dyed with this really beautiful fuchsia just, just to enhance the, the coolness of it. If you were to get this agate from Botswana in Africa, it comes like a peach color, like really, really pale pink peach. And that's like a natural pink one, but those are super rare. Most of them are like white and brown. This one is from Mexico. So it's like a really beautiful clear crystal and brown, but they've just added some pink um, just to make it look cool. So I don't know, I just love this coloring. All right, so it's from Mexico. Agate is associated with crown chakra. So that's all of the energy in the, the crown of the head. This stone increases security and self-confidence. It's grounding and balancing. It helps to bring new information to the surface. So it, it brings inspiration, creativity, and new ideas to the surface. It gives the energy of moving forward. It helps to stabilize the aura and it improves concentration. So those are all of the energetic benefits that have been associated with agate 
um, for years and years and years. And I just thought this was a really cool colored pink agate. So if you're interested in this pink agate from Mexico, it's $30. You can just say pink agate sold. Make sure you say pink agate sold so I know um, where, uh, which one you're talking about when I go back to the comments, but I see you, Lori. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Okay, and I'm moving on to our last one. So our last little sip and our last crystal. Thank you guys for hanging out. I hope this has been fun for you. I hope we can do it a couple more times and um, kind of get into a cool little rhythm of how we do it. I hope you enjoy it. Okay. Our next one is a stone that I have like a, a very similar one. Um, this stone is one that I often bring when I'm teaching a yoga class. I keep this one on my yoga mat. And what's kind of cool about this is I, I had this stone and I just, for some reason was like, I liked it. I felt good around it. And, um, I would bring it on my yoga mat when I had to teach a big class just for like a reminder of peace. And then when I learned about this stone later down the road, I learned that this stone helps with public speaking. It helps to bring a sense of calm. Um, and so it did just that. And I didn't even know that that's what it was for. So this is blue celestite. So this is a little crystal. It is a crystal because as you can see, it's got some shiny pointy pieces but this does have a lot of the original rock around it too. So you've got some light blue bling bling. And then you've got some of the natural rock that it's been chunked out of surrounding it. All right, this is, for, okay, this is why I love this one. <laughs> this, um, this celestite is found in five or six different countries predominantly around the world but this light blue color is only in Madagascar. And Madagascar is an island off of Africa and it's on my bucket list of places to go to. Um, so this light blue selenite is only found in Madagascar. So just knowing that it came from that part of the world just feels cool. Um, this is associated with throat chakra. So the vibration in this stone helps you with throat chakra. Um, it is, a gentle, peaceful energy. They say that it gives you connection to higher realms or angels. That's why it's called celestite, like celestial. It's said to give you restful sleep. This is often given as a gift to put in a room for a newborn baby. So like a baby shower gift um, for years and years and years. That's been a traditional thing just to keep peace. Um, again, like I said earlier, it's used for calm, for speaking in public. So this could be something that you hold in the palm of your hand or put in your pocket. And the vibration is also said to help with muscle relaxing when paired with uh, meditation. So a lot of really, really beautiful, peaceful energies around your blue celestite. And it's so cool because I didn't know all of those things. And that's kind of what I was using my own for. Um, in the past, so that's why I wanted to make sure I got another piece of this to share. So if you want to claim this one, it is blue celestite and it's $12. So you can just say you want the blue celestite, it's $12, just say sold. And don't worry if you don't spell it right, <laughs> of course. All right, Karen. Oh, good, Karen. I feel the same way. Like I had such a hectic day and just knowing that I was going to get to um, share some positivity and hang out with you guys um, already made me feel better. So I hope this has made you guys feel good too. All right. I see you guys commenting with the blue uh, Celestite. 
So like I said, um, we've gone through all the crystals now. So um, I've kind of made note, I see who commented first and I will of course get with that person. Um, if they pay within 24 hours, we'll send the crystal out to the first person that put sold. If they don't pay in 24 hours, I'll give it to the next person that put sold. Um, if you don't end up getting the one that you wanted and you specifically want one of the ones from today, um, I'm down to do this again if you guys are and I can specifically choose um, and get some others in for you guys. I think that would be really great. And um, like I said as well, if you did buy a crystal tonight and we talk about your intentions or you let me know one or two things that you'd like me to sort of bless over your crystal i will do so but even if you didn't buy a crystal or didn't get one that you wanted comment in the um in the comments below this video either right now or when we finish here in a minute or two and let us know if there's something you're working towards like maybe applying for a new job or um, finding time for self-care more in your life. If there's like a certain personal goal that you're working towards, um, crystal or not, I would love to support you guys in like sending that out into the universe and making it happen. So great things have happened in this Goddess Network group just by people writing in the comments something they're working towards and then another woman sees it and says, oh, I'm doing this too. And it's just a great place for connection. So I hope that that in one way, shape, or form, you have found a little bit more peace and happiness tonight. All right, cool. I definitely want a wand and rose quartz bracelets. Okay, cool. I'm gonna make note of this and um, and I'm gonna start getting you guys the stuff that you want. I'm, I'm so happy that you shared with me that you wanted to do this. I, I'm glad I'm not alone in thinking um, we can all use a little bit more positivity in our life right now. All right, is there any questions before I go? Anybody have any uh, thoughts, questions before we end our very first goddess crystal session? All right, well, I'll give you guys a toast. Hopefully you have a little time to unwind before bed tonight. When I end this video, I'm gonna go back and check the comments and I'll get with you guys um, in just a few minutes, all right? Thanks, Raquel. Thank you guys for letting me know that you like this. I look forward to us hanging out again very, very soon. Take beautiful care of yourselves. Love you so much. Namaste.